now on the show, we're joined by a 22-year-old author who's written a book about depression, especially depression in younger children. Kairavi Bharatram's book, C is for Cat, D is for Depression, weaves in stories of despair along with stories of courage and grit. She joins us now on the show. Uh, thank you so much for speaking to us. Congratulations on this book. I believe it's your fourth book already at the age of 22. And this particular book is very personal for you. Tell us why you uh, decided to write about this issue. Hi. Thank you for having me. Um, I My depression started when I was a young child. I was the end of class 11, 12. And um, I just felt that if I had known about it earlier, if I knew what the symptoms were, what to look out for, what depression was, we may have been able to catch it earlier and I wouldn't have had to go through what I did. So that's why I wanted to write this for children so that um, they're aware of what the mental health problems are and um, they can notice signs in them and also for people who are around the person suffering for them to understand what they're going through and especially if it's a child their friends are all young and they don't know these things so it's important i wanted to have this so that they could give it to that child and say that okay my friend is really suffering and for that 20 minutes that you're reading the book you're transported into their world and then you can uh, support them better so that was basically the idea behind why i wrote it right very interesting uh, Kervi, and also you know during this uh, pandemic and the lockdown we're seeing that uh, these issues are getting compounded what have you seen Com Completely. So I actually wrote the book three years ago and it was a really long process for it to come out. But it's actually, I think, come out at the perfect time because people need it more than ever. And the good thing about it is that I think it's becoming less of a stigma because everyone is experiencing it in some form during the lockdown. But um, it is everywhere and it's more prominent now. But I think it was always there. Um, people are just getting a little bit more comfortable to talk about it because it's not viewed as such an awful thing or such an unheard of thing anymore. But still, I think people don't, are less um, likely to accept it in a child because it's looked at as an adult's problem, adult's disease, or unless you don't have a big problem in your life, you're not from a broken home, um, you're not, um, there's no reason, you're not validated enough to have depression. So I think a lot of those views are changing, which is, I mean, great progress is being made, I guess, a little bit though. All right, uh, Kervi, a bit of a difficult question. You know, uh, we've also seen this, um, you know, uh, the Sushant Singh Rajput case, the fact that uh, now it's, it's emerged from the AIMS panel that yes, he did, uh, you know, it, it was death by suicide. And at that time, when initially the news came in, a lot of people said it was, uh, you know, spoke about depression and possible stress that he was facing. But then, of course, it got caught up in various other issues. And at that time as well, and even now, many people, you know, talk about how, why would a star like him, you know, do this? He, he, had so much going for him so again the kind of understanding of what depression is that you think this this could have been used as a way of you know talking more about this and again removing the stigma that is involved with depression yeah i really feel that when it had happened then people were talking about depression people were talking about how you could have the perfect life on paper but still be depressed but i think it uh, the whole the way it blew up undid all the progress that was being made because then people were like, see, we told you somebody like him couldn't have been depressed. And I knew that he didn't have depression. And that whole progress got completely um, ruined, especially like in the little bit less educated uh, uh, sectors. So I don't know, I think it had a negative and positive effect and it could have really caused a change, but unfortunately it went in a different direction. And I think now the conversation is over because it just got so convoluted that no one is really sure what to believe. All right. Well, thank you so much, Kervi, for speaking to us. And again, congratulations on this book. Thank you so much. Thank you.